What's next? Well, just in case you haven't heard, solar eclipse tomorrow morning. Yeah, the moon will move in front of the sun. As that happens, you will see, some of us will see what they call a rain of fire or an annular eclipse. I say some because you got to be right in that path you see on the map here. We're outside of that path here in Idaho, so we'll see a partial eclipse. Not the rain of fire, but partial eclipse. That's still pretty cool. It will peak, or the maximum part of that partial eclipse will happen at 1027. There is a little bit of fly in the ointment, though, as far as sky viewing conditions are concerned. we got some clouds headed this way. Although high pressure is building in, it's not strong enough to keep the clouds away. So we'll call it partly to mostly cloudy tomorrow morning during this partial eclipse for us. So it's worth a shot. Make sure you wear glasses. you got to wear those special glasses. doesn't matter if it's a total, partial, or even the arena fire. You'll need protective eyewear if you're going to look at directly at it. So be careful. And it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime thing, really. I mean, to see a partial eclipse. It's not often we see those around here. So for Pocatello tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy. Frost advisory overnight. Low temperature at 37. A little bit of a breeze. We're looking at wind speeds up to about 10 miles per hour. That'll be the strongest they will get tonight. Lighter winds expected for Idle Falls. Temperature just a couple degrees above freezing with a frost advisory there. And then tomorrow, well, there's the partly cloudy or partly sunny we we're talking about for tomorrow morning. We will hit up to 64 degrees, so a little bit warmer than it was this afternoon by about 5 degrees. Now tomorrow for Pocatello, we'll be in the mid-60s, so temperatures inching their way northward. Elsewhere on the map, all of us warming up. In fact, we got 71 for high over in Twin Falls. 60s up in the Central Mountains. You may see a bit more in the way of clouds in your sky tomorrow. And then looks like temperature in Dubois, although it's cooler than the rest of us, or most of us at least. Uh, 56, that's still an improvement over today. Travel tracker, sunny to partly sunny to mostly cloudy. In fact, what's interesting, the path of the rain of fire goes right over Eugene, Oregon. Well, that part of Oregon's gonna be pretty cloudy, so you go farther west, you'll encounter a lot more in the way of clouds. And if you go to Seattle, you'll want to take your umbrella, rain in their forecast tomorrow. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. No rain in our future, not in the next seven days at least. In fact, we warm up a bit. Sunday, 71, even warmer on Monday. We're up to 76. And then the wind machine kicks in for your Tuesday. So that's a dry cold front, not expecting rain. That alert you see there is for the frost advisory tomorrow morning. Rexburg seven day forecast. Warmest day coming up when you know it. It's on a Monday. Maybe we can make it a three day weekend. Huh, Matt? Should we? Okay, yeah. Tuesday and we're cooler windy. And if for Blackfoot, same thing. Temperatures start warming up in the 70s for a couple of days and then we turn cooler, comfortably cooler. A lot of wind though on Tuesday. I think we'll be glad to have Tuesday done and over with. Now Teton area, there is a chance of rain with that dry cold front, maybe enough to squeeze out some raindrops over the Teton area. And same thing for the Central Mountains. We may see some rain showers Tuesday, but until then, just beautiful. In fact, even sunnier and warmer on Monday with a high of 75.